Hi, so today I'm going to be showing you a new game from State Logic Live. It's called the Live Super Wheel Game Show. So if you're familiar with State Logic slots, uh, you would have seen the Super Wheel, which was built probably came out about 12, 18 months ago. So it's a live dealer wheel, uh, but it's only previously been accessed as a live bonus round from a slot game. But they've now taken that wheel, done some enhancements, given it some bonus rounds and created the Super Wheel Game Show. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. So there is a difference between the two. This is the live dealer game show and not the, uh, our, not the live bonus round that some of the slots have using the Super Wheel. So without further ado, let's just fire up the game and I'll get on explaining the game to you. Okay, here we are. So this is the uh, Super Wheel Game Show. Very familiar looking layout for this game. Um, State Logic have used a 54 segment wheel. On the wheel are instant win prizes, and they're the numbered segments numbers 1, 2, 5, 10, and 20. Uh, there are four bonus rounds uh, which I'll go through, and there's another segment which is neither a bonus round nor an instant prize, it's sort of a bit of both and it's called the Risky 100. And again, I'll uh, explain a little bit more about that. Here you can just see one of the bonus rounds uh, going and Again, I'll explain that just <laughs> as we get to it. I just sort of want to explain the whole of the game first so you understand what you're, you're getting into and then we'll deal with each of the bonus rounds. Now I've been playing this over the last few days, uh, multiple sessions, so I can get all of the bonus rounds. So this video is made up of the introduction and then I'll show you each of the bonus rounds very quickly and explain how each of those work and then I'll give you my summary at the end. I'll also talk about uh, playing strategy because that's quite important for this game. So you might want to uh, hang on and just hear me talk about that uh, in a minute. I am going to play the game as I'm talking but this game doesn't have autoplay, certainly not in the UK, so I may miss a few game rounds but that's not necessarily that important uh, while I'm showing you. So we'll just wait for this uh, bonus round to finish. As you can see, it's a spin and drop bonus round. And that's just given a fairly typical payout, I would say, of 8.3x. So we'll get to that in a minute. So in terms of the segments of the wheel, there are 20 number one segments. 13, number 2, 6, number 5, 4, number 10, and 2, number 20. There's a risky 100, as I've explained before. The Vegas Hold and Spin bonus round that we've just seen has three segments. Vegas Diamonds 2, Vegas Pachenko 2, and Vegas Drops 1. All of the bonus rounds are RNG. There's no live element to any of the bonus rounds. So once you get in it, you're in it and you're just watching what's happening. Um, Something else that may be familiar to you in this game is the top slot multipliers. And we'll just let this go and I'll just explain about that in a second. I'm gonna just place a bet first so we can just see the betting grid. Right, so I'm gonna place 10p bets, one on each, one each of the bonus ones, one on the risky 100 and six on number one. So I've got a total bet here of one euro 10, oh, sorry, one pound 10, because I'm playing in pounds, British pounds. And as I said, there's no autoplay here. So you can see the top slot, slot spinning. This is different from the top slot that, you, <laughs> slot that you'll see on Crazy Time, because if you get, there are three win lines, and if you get them all together, then the win lines then deliver the multipliers applies to those uh, bet spots. So as you can see here, Vegas drops is 10x, Pachenko's got a 2x, and number two's got a 15x. And number two has got the 15x, so well done players that got number two because they've got a 15x multiplier on that uh, bet spot. So sometimes the top slot will give you no multipliers, one multiplier, two or three. And sometimes it looks like it should give you uh, two, but if the things aren't lined up absolutely exactly, you're not gonna get them. So be careful when you're looking because if you think you should have a multiplier and you haven't, that's the reason why they're not quite lining up as they should do. So that's a familiar feature that we've seen before in Crazy Time, for example, but it's been enhanced, so it's different. 
So you see the bottom one has to line up. So there you go, Vegas Drops and number five has got a 5X. Vegas Drops is probably the most difficult segment to get a bonus win on. Oh, we might actually do it. Stay, 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 stay. Oh my good God, that is fantastic with an 8X drop. <laughs> I hadn't expected that, so uh, well done. Wow. Okay, so we could have a good payout here. So Vegas Drops, you got five columns, one, two, three, four, five, and you get multipliers that drop down in them. The colors um, denote the range, and the first column that fills up, that's your payout. There is a, a replay, so if you get an R in the column that fills up, then it will play the game again, and you get all those multipliers again. So we can see column three's got an R, so that would be ideal. And you can see all the gold blocks have got much higher payouts than, say, the blue dots. Come on. So we got the mid, <laughs> we got the middle one, unfortunately. But we're going to get an eight x multiplier on this. So that's actually a really decent win. Wow, I've never seen a bigger win since I've been playing on this. So <laughs> printing money, <laughs> what are they like? Wow. So two hundred and twenty x multiplier. I'm well happy with that. <laughs> And that was totally unexpected. You know what? I spent a day trying to get the uh, Vegas Drops video for you so you could see it. And let's just come in straight away. I mean, what what are you like, eh? Right, so that was the Vegas Drops. <laughs> um, bonus round. Right, so uh, the other bonus rounds I'll get into as and when we uh, get to play them but I just want to show you around the playing interface we seem to be getting the multipliers a bit at the moment and they don't generally happen all the time so I say this game is fairly low volatile and what I mean about that is if you bet correctly or carefully you're going to roll over your bankroll multiple times um, it's a good game for doing that um, so in my mind these games are you should be playing it to win it so you should be always betting on the bonus rounds Bet on the risky 100 and then bet on one of the numbers. But make sure your total bet, if you win on number one, which is the most frequent uh, segment to win, then you will at least get all your money back and perhaps make a little bit of a profit. So you're, you're trying to stay in this game for as long as possible and try and get the uh, bonus rounds as they win occur, which on average should be about every seven spins. Right, I want to show you, now you see I'm talking to you and I've missed the uh, opportunity to bet. Look, we've only got one uh, thing on the top slot there and it didn't drop in centrally, so we've not got that. The statistics on this game are pretty poor. You're getting one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're getting 24 previous results in the bottom right hand side of the skin, screen. It's even less on mobile. But what you do get is you get the last result and if there was a multiplier, what that multiplier was. Um, it won't tell you for the Risky 100, which is a coin flip game, which side of the coin won. But with that, um, you either win 100x on that or nothing. But And that's the only part of the game where there's player choice. So unlike coin flip on Crazy Time, you actually get to cho choose the side of the coin. And then the RNG spins it and you either win or you don't. In my experience, the wins tend to flip-flop. So if it was red last time, it was blue the next time. And that's how I've bet every time, and I've won every time. Now, it probably isn't always like that, but that's how it uh, seems to me. So we've had another loss there. So that deals with the statistics. There's a good set of help up here. It's all a bit small, unfortunately. Uh, and in the game rules, let me go back to the... Um, the Vegas drops, because I just want to explain a bit about the, these values that you see. So in the Vegas drops, it shows you that the the bricks have got ranges, and that's the same for all of the uh, bonus rounds. They've all got multiplier ranges, depending on the color. And they're either coins or they're these bricks. Uh, and you can see, in particular, for this one, the gold, uh, the multipliers range from 0.1 to 10x, and that's the same on all of the uh, all of the games. 
We're actually going to get to see the Risky 100 here live as well without me having pre-recorded. So this is going to test me because I haven't seen what the last result was. Unfortunately, I didn't place a bet on that. It would normally flash up two coins and you would pick the coin that you want to bet on. I was going to go red and it was blue that won 100x. So I would have lost that anyway. So I'll save myself 10 pence. Um, but yeah, so this is the faff without having autoplay. You just miss game rounds. Even when you're not recording a video and commentating on it, you just bloody miss game rounds. Right, what else is there to tell you about this? Um, that's it really. Four bonus rounds, risky 100. We've covered strategy. We've got three lines here on um, for the multipliers. 15x on the hold and spin, which is the most popular bonus round. Oh, come on. Oh, we haven't got. Oh, we have got a multiplier on the Pachenko. So this is a live Pachenko one. So you can see this game, the bonus rounds do come in quite regularly. Right, uh, in the Pachenko one, it's a Pachenko board. Um, and then the RNG engine randomly puts, I think it's 12, maybe 12 multipliers all over the board. The top multiplier is 50x and they go down. And then the RNG engine decides where it's going to drop the uh, token. And then it will also decide how the token will bounce. There is a re-trigger, bottom left, you see. So if you drop in that, it will do the game again. Oh, which we've just got. So we've got a 12 and a half X. We've got 40 X there. It'd be nice if they started it on the left hand side. Unlikely though. Sometimes it just drops all the way through and you get bugger all. Okay, so that's not too bad. A 24 X times five, as we had the multiplier. <laughs> and printing money again. <laughs> so we've done really well here. I'm not going to pretend that this is normal. Normally you get like 10x. 12 pound 55 for a 10p bit ain't bad. So I'm happy with that. Okay, so we've had quite a few live ones just as I've been talking to you about the game. So I'm pleased about that. We'll just do one last spin and then I'll show you the rest of the bonus rounds. You might see a change in personnel because I've had a number of different presenters doing the bonus rounds as I've been doing it. And then hang on after the bonus rounds because I'll tell you what I think of this game and how it compares with everything else that we've played. Okay, so that's the end of this uh, section. Right, I'm going to go right into the, um, the bonus rounds. So be prepared for a change of presenter because she turns into a he. Okay, so a quick costume play change and we've got uh, a guy now uh, running the game. Well, at least for this particular spin. Again, I've forgotten to place a bet. I do do better, but I've forgotten to place a bet on this one. So, here we go. Right, we're starting off with Vegas Diamonds. So, Vegas Diamonds is another RNG game. The premise is there's diamonds on the board. It acts a bit like a, a slot. If a presenter's image appears, then it gets sort of copied up to the top grid. And once you get three presenters' grids, three presenters in that grid, you then get two extra spins and the multiplier that you've sort of bumped into. The multipliers that you see on the grid only get um, applied to your payout or the payout total when there's the presenters on screen. 
and you can get lots of presenters on the spin. So you still see these multipliers, they're not being added to your total. They only get added when there's the uh, presenter. So you see we've now up to level 3x and we've got an extra two spins. So it's really important to get the presenter images. One, to get extra spins and more multipliers and two, to actually pick up all of the available multipliers on the uh, on the grid. So you just keep playing this. This keeps dropping until you run out of spins. So once spins reach zero. So as long as we're picking up the presenters and moving along the grid, that's good news because we the multipliers then become bigger. They go from 2x up to 20x. So we've got three spins left and we're on 5x now for any multipliers that appear and we get the two extra spins. So we're back up to five spins. So you'll see that 10x become a 50x, oh sorry, a, a 50p, and then it gets added to your total. So we're counting down three, two, right, two more spins. So we need a couple of presenter heads here, really. Nope, that's us done. So we've got a 17.10x multiplier win on this, which I would say is pretty good for Vegas Diamonds. Obviously, the wins become better once you uh, get the uh, multipliers and also a top slot multiplier going into the, uh, into the game round. Okay, so I've managed to get a bet down here. Now you'll probably see, or you may not see the balance because it's hidden by my rather ugly head. Oh look, we've got three sets of multipliers here. 4x on Vegas Holden Spin, 50x on Vegas Diamonds, and 15x on number two. Don't care about that because I haven't got a bet on it. Yeah. And we're into the Vegas Holden Spin bonus round with a 4x multiplier. Again, this game is a drop and win. So start off with three spins. If it drops a win into any of the grids, the spins get reset to three and uh, it continues. So it continues going this way all the time while you've got spins. The game round ends when the spins are zero. You can see all the multiply, all the coins that are dropping have different multiplier values depending on the color. So they start with bronze and go up to platinum, I think it is. But the multiplier range is sort of 0 0.10x to 10x on this game. So this uh, mechanic is very similar to the one that you see in Mega Fireblaze games at Playtech with the dropping orbs, I call them there, but these are dropping coins. And we've got 4x multiplier <coughs> on this. They are 37.60 multiplier, which translate to £3.86 for me, as it was 10p for a spin. So that's pretty, pretty good. In fact, it's very good because that doesn't happen that often. Normally it's about 10x. Um, as most of the bonus rounds are, unless you get the multipliers. Sometimes you get a 50x, you know, if you're lucky with the Super Chick Vegas Pachenko. Right, we've got Vegas Diamonds 10x multiplier. Right, okay, so we've got a risky 100 here. So this is the coin flip where you can win 100x or absolutely nothing. You've just got to correctly guess which side of the coin that's going to appear. And you get two choices. I'm going to go blue because the last win was red, I think. Um, and I'm not sure that I knew that, but I just went blue. The next time this occurs, I'll go red. And there we are, we've got a 10x, 100x win there. So as I was saying previously about my balance, my balance um, oh, yes. went down a bit, then went up, and I actually ended this game in a positive profit, not by a huge amount, 10% I think profit I made overall, so I was quite happy with that, but I had sort of 
three hours, almost three hours worth of gameplay. And we've got another risky 100. So, uh, yeah, this is the second. So, as I said, I've been betting all alternate ones. The last one was blue. We've got 100x there. This one I'm going red. RNG spins. And we've got another 100x. So my theory of them sort of flip-flopping between blue and red seems to be borne out. But I've only played about four of those where it's actually worked. I've yet to lose. But... I haven't got enough data to say categorically that's the way that this game works and quite honestly I can't imagine it would the RNG engine just wouldn't do it but you know I really like uh, really like that okay so that is super wheel game show from state logic um, you know what, when I first started playing this game, I really didn't like it. I thought this is a bad copy of Crazy Time and the other games that have uh, been made like this. Um, so I came away in quite quite a negative uh, feel about it. Then I played it again and liked it a little bit more. And then I played it again um, and again, just trying to get all the bonus rounds and have a good play. And actually, it's an okay game. Um, and I'll tell you why. So the Top Shot Multiplier you got three chances there of having three multipliers um, on the main betting grid. Crazy Time only gives you one. It's the same as Crazy Time in that you get a lot of misses, but you also get a, you know, a few hits. And when they do come, as you can see here, there's a 50x there on Pachenko. So that would be a decent, decent win um, if you could get that. So the top slot is better. Um, the Risky 100 is better as a coin flip game than coin flip on crazy time in my opinion because you get to make a player choice you have to decide whether it's red or blue and there's only one win one way to win is to correct the pick the correct size and you already know what the win's going to be it's going to be 100x and if you lose you get zero nothing nada zoom so i quite like the cleanness of that you know rather than getting a 25x and a 3x i'd rather not bother with 3x just give me all the big win or nothing so again i quite like that on this game Really disappointed in the statistics, though, and how many you get uh, displayed. You know, I quite like joining a game and having a look at the stats, certainly these game shows, and seeing what's happened in the previous. So am I coming into a game that's hot for bonus rounds or cold for bonus rounds? And if it's cold, well, I might want to start playing. If it's hot, well, perhaps I'll leave it for a, an hour uh, and just wait and see how it gets on. So I'd like to see more information there. Not overly keen on RNG bonus rounds, I have to say. You know, this is a live game, but I understand how these are produced and why they do it, because it's cheaper, it's easy to get a license for them. And they're using mechanics that they've used elsewhere in slot games. So it, it, it's a cheaper alternative. But I think it sort of makes the game not as good. Um, but, you know, that's just my opinion. Um, and who am I? So, <laughs> so that's it. I'm not the one paying for these games and I'm not the one trying to make any money out of them. Um, but as a playing experience, I'd really um, I'd really prefer more live elements because, you know, I get a kick out of that. Um, the stats on mobile, I should say, are even worse. You get even less um, previous results. And that's just how it is, unfortunately, with this, uh, with this game. Autoplay for UK players. Nightmare without it playing this game. You've really got to be invested in the game and keep an eye on what's going on. Um, without it, you miss game rounds and it can really piss you off, to be honest with you. So, um, in a nutshell, I think this is a really good game to complement the other live casino games in um, State Logic's live games catalogue. Uh, I don't think it's going to be one of those games that gets hundreds of thousands of players, like you know, like one other I keep mentioning. Uh, but I think it will do okay, actually. I think it will get a loyal following, and it's actually okay to play. I think the fact that it's familiar, the Super Wheel is familiar to slot players, might drag them across to this game, where you get the, the bonus rounds as part of the as part of this game. It just adds something different. So that might um, attract some curious players. Otherwise, I think this is, you know, okay, and I think they've done a pretty good job. So, you know, in one camp, I thought it was rubbish. I thought it was just a cheap... Um, 
copy actually i've revised my opinion and it's not and it's actually you know a bit of thought's gone into this game so um yeah well done uh, state logic uh, if you want to play it uh please do there's a link in the description of casinos where you can find this um otherwise chuck us a like leave us some comments to let me know what you think of this game if you haven't subscribed to my channel before please do because you'll get to see more of these uh, videos and then we can get into a bit of a debate about what you think about live casino games uh, in the comments. Other than that, I hope you remain lucky, have a good day and I shall see you at the next video. Cheers. Bye.